Hey, it's Ryan Quick here from Lexus of Edmonton. We just got this in on our pre-owned side. It's a 2011 BMW 323i. This is a rear-wheel drive unit with a uh, inline six engine underneath the hood. Uh, so we're just going to do a quick walk around of the video, and we'll check out some of the features with it, and uh, that's about it. So we'll, it's got two sets of tires. The winters are on right now, and then uh, the actual factory BMW rims are bagged up. Uh, inside on the door panel you have power locks and power windows, uh, your power mirror control. Uh, you also have a power memory seat with two uh, seat memory settings. Your automatic lights are right here. Uh, you have cruise control tucked down here. Some audio and Bluetooth controls on this side. Uh, some selection buttons on this side over here. Uh, the unit is a push button start with uh, the key here for the BMW. It goes in. And then that's kind of like uh, just turning on the power. And then when you give it a press is how you start the engine just like that. Uh, as for the rest of the interior here, we have the, in the BMWs, the power locks are actually right here. And you do have uh, your traction control button is right there. Uh, all your audio controls are laid out for you right here. Pretty straightforward. There's lots of presets in the BMW. You can have like 16 or something like that. Uh, you've got the climate controls here, dual control for driver and passenger, and you also have the uh, heated seats as well for the driver and passenger. A little bit of space right here as well as back here just to store things. Um, you do have uh, drive mode, sport mode, and then manual mode in the BMW, so I'll just turn on the car again and I'll just show you how that works. So we go into drive like that, and then you'll just see a D up on your display there. And now if I knock it over, one. Then now we're at uh, now we're in sport mode, so you'll see DS drive sport. And then uh, if you want to shift it manually, tap it either way, and then you see it go into the M, and it'll and that's manual, and then it shows you what gear you're in. And with the BMW, it's uh, backwards as to most cars, so you push forward to go down a gear, and you pull back to go up. Uh, that's actually the way I personally prefer it. It feels a little more. It makes a little bit more sense to be pulling back with the acceleration of the vehicle uh, when you're going up gears because that's the way you're getting pushed in the car is back so up a gear you know um, and then when you're slowing down to engine brake and to downshift you're going forward with the momentum from slowing down so to me that makes more sense um, just to look around a little bit more inside the armrest you do have an auxiliary power outlet as well as a USB and auxiliary input for the stereo and then uh, you do have the cup holders in the BMW or like this pretty neat and uh, it's also a powered passenger seat as well so actually there's a little bit more so the uh, mirror up here is uh, auto dimming rear view mirror and then you do have uh, your sunroof controls up top here and uh, your lights as well and uh, a little automatic light for the sunshade so let's just take a quick peek in the back seats now and we'll also uh, check out the trunk as well So here are your back seats. Uh, on the door panel you do have the window control, uh, rubber floor mats back here, a little bit of climate control there, and then you also have the center seat folds down and has uh, cup holders right here, and it's a pass-through center seat as well. So uh, pretty spacious, it's not bad having four people riding the, uh, the BMW sedan, there's, you know, it's a smaller sedan, but uh, it's very comfortable, very easy to drive these vehicles. Um, a lot of fun too, they're all pretty sporty. So now we can check out the trunk here. Uh, you have run flat tires, so you actually have some storage space underneath here. Uh, this is one of the summer tires that's bagged up right now. And uh, as you can see, the seats also fold down. They're a 60-40 uh, split, so you do have the uh, release for that right there. And then down here, your tool kit is, uh, is back here if you pop this out. You can pop that out and there's a, there's a tool kit back there. You've got like your wheel lock nuts and stuff like that in there. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty nice clean car. It still needs to get reconditioned by our dealership, but it's going to look brand new once that's done. It's been well taken care of. It's really only, you know, barely two years old. Uh, so all in all, it's a great car. It's in great shape. So if you have any more questions about the unit or you want to book a test drive, please give us a call, 466-8300, or visit the dealership. We're at 170th Street and 111th Ave. And please don't forget to check out LexusofEdmonton.ca.
And once again, I'm Ryan Quick from Lexus of Edmonton, and thank you very much for watching.